Moving on to another story, Indigo, one famous Indian airline, has once again landed itself in a direct conflict with passengers. In the latest instance, a heart surgeon from Bangalore, Dr. Sorabrai, says that he was forcibly offloaded from flight at Lucknow Airport last evening by the airline staff. The aggrieved passenger says he was deported after the, he complained of mosquitoes inside the aircraft. Vion spoke to the complainant, Dr. Sorabrai, listening to what he said. This incident happened yesterday, 9th of April. Uh, I was uh, coming to this direct flight to Bangalore. I work here. Uh, we all had boarded the plane around 5.40 or so. There were too many mosquitoes in the flight. I raised this concern about the mosquito meanness, especially mosquitoes biting to the little children around me. There were at least three or four children around me. And uh, the air hostess, the first whom I've spoken to, said that some senior person will get in touch with you. Nothing happened for 10-15 minutes. They were doing the preparations finally to take off. The announcement from the front was made that, you know, the ground security staff should get off the airport. I raised my hand and I stood up. Uh, from my seat 23C saying that ma'am we have raised the concern about the mosquito nothing has been done before you board before you lock the doors if you have to get any repellent creams or a spray can we do that nothing happened uh, then after 10 minutes there was an announcement they said that the repellent sprays cannot be done according to some directives from a green tribunal or something which I cannot exactly remember then I saw six or seven ground security people of the Indigo walking in. One of them asked me where my checked-in cabbage wall, uh, luggage was, and he took my luggage out from the cabin box. And two of them started dragging me by pulling my shirt and the collar. To that, I objected, and I said, I'm not a terrorist. You don't need to manhandle me. You want me to deboard, I will deboard. Now, the other passengers, when I raised this issue and when this was happening, they started clapping with me, supporting me perhaps. When I reached up to the front of the uh, aircraft, the comments were made that, you know, there are too many mosquitoes in India also, so why don't you leave India? That was probably from the air crew. Anyway, I did not get involved in any altercation. I walked down the ramp uh, when the security people were dragging me. They took their hands off from my collar and wore my shirt. I was standing on the airstrip. There was some conversation taking place between the security officer of the Indigo with the crew members. The crew, uh, one of the crew members came down the aisle and she said that, you know, if you, if you give a letter of apology, we will take you in. And I said, before I give any letter, apology letter, I would like to know what my fault is. You know, no explanation was given to me. She walked up the ramp again. Again, after 10, 15 minutes, the, the security officer came and said that we are giving you a second option, a second chance and the last chance, that if you render any apology letter, we will let you board the plane. And I said, you asked me the same question 10 times. I'm not going to render any apology because I don't think I've done anything wrong at all. So after that, the plane was let off. I was deboarded. I was not allowed to sit in the plane. There was no, I mean, I don't know what my fault, what my crime was. I was taken to the airport. The air security officer was only there. CISF, three personals were there. They walked off as soon as we reached the airport back again in the main building. I said to the Indigo security person that I would like to li lodge a complaint with the senior officer of Indigo. I was taking to a so-called senior officer who never introduced who she was. And then she just heard my statement verbally. No, nothing in writing taken from me or given to me why I was deboarded. Indigo, meanwhile, they took to Twitter to clarify their stand. They said, and here I quote, apologies for the experience. As per NGT regulation, fumigation can be done only when passengers are not on board. We comply with that and would like to clarify that while we have defined procedures to avoid such instances, we are sure that you will understand that entry of insects or flies cannot be completely guarded against. However, your feedback is valuable to us and we are sharing the same with the concerned team to avoid such instances in future. End quote. And joining me live to discuss more, we have Nishita Virendra, our correspondent currently in Bangalore. Nishita, thank you very much for joining and good evening to you. So, uh, we have an airline and uh, speaking to many of the passengers, uh, they have absolutely no complaint about Indigo, which, is, uh, which they found at least to be a very professional airline. But this is not the first incident that involves uh, uh, these kind of actions are taken by the, the airline. Could you help me draw a balance between these two contradictory statements. 
That's right, uh, Daniela. This is not the first time that we're seeing such a complaint come into uh, light, especially against uh, Indigo Airlines. If we can just recap to a few months back, then in October, one Rajiv Katyal was physically manhandled by the airline staff. Uh, the entire incident was captured on camera. It went viral and uh, it prompted the, even the DGCA to uh, ask for an explanation from the airliner. Um, uh, cut to November, you had uh, badminton sensation PV Sindhu going on to state that the staff spoke to her extremely rudely and uh, they did not respond to her questions in an appropriate manner. And now another incident involving a vascular surgeon who was a Bengaluru-based vascular surgeon. Uh, he was traveling from Lucknow to uh, Bengaluru when the incident took place and he claims that he was forced out of uh, the aircraft only because he questioned why there were so many mosquitoes inside uh, the plane. Indigo in its response saying that the passenger was trying to uh, 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 was trying to uh, 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 instigate the other passengers as well and even used words like hijack, something that is absolutely not tolerated inside an airport or an airplane and that is the reason why he was forced out. Uh, but the passenger has questioned uh, to this explanation saying that if he was indeed uh, pulled out because of the words like hijack that he claims he did not use in the first place, then why was he given another ticket on the same day in the same airliner? So Indigo so far has not reached out to Dr. Saurabh Rai, but you have uh, Suresh Prabhu, who is the Union Civil Aviation Minister, who has tweeted saying that an inquiry will be ordered into the incident. And uh, even right. when the Rajiv Katyal incident had taken place, it was uh, the issue was raised by several experts as to one should look deeply into the matter on why exactly employees of low-cost airlines are uh, behaving in such a manner.